Hey, it's Beverly here at Crafting Chaos again. Um, just bringing you a video because um, <clears throat> although a lot of you have actually had a go at the video on making the golf cart, our golf buggy for Father's Day, there has been a couple of people that have actually struggled with the greeting part. I don't think so much getting the um, file from type converter into canvas, but mo moreover making the matting layer. So what I was going to do for you today was create another greeting using a similar technique but take it a little bit slower and a little bit step by step so that you can follow it really really carefully. Um, so um, let's get to it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do is open your Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter and that's what I'm doing now. And I think I'm going to do congratulations this time. I'm going to type the word congratulation and I'm going to go down down to the video the sorry the text that is tale of hawks so just bear with me till I find the tale of hawks font which was the font that we used in a previous video okay so that's looking all right the O has gone into a funny position but I can fix that once we get into canvas I'm going to close that down I'm going to go to save I'm going to save it to my desktop, give it the name congrats and save. Okay, so now I've finished with the type converter, I can see the files come onto my desktop and I'm going to close that down. So the next thing I'll need to do is come over to Google Chrome and open up Canvas Workspace. Now I've already got an account and I'm logged in. If you haven't got an account, it's really easy step-by-step -step process to get yourself an account, give yourself account name and password, and then you're good to go. So the first thing we need to do when we get to the screen with the canvas mat on is to go to SVG. So click on import SVG, and we're going to be looking for the F S FCM file that we've just created that says congratulations, and there it is. So I'm going to click on that, say open, then I'm going to say OK, and that will put that word on the mat. OK, so now we have it on the mat, and as you can see, it has put that O in a strange position, but we can fix that now. Sometimes when it does the conversion, it does scoot things around a little bit, but using the selection of that particular letter and scooching it along with your keys, you can actually move. Oh, I've moved that. It wasn't the app. It actually wasn't the O that was in the wrong position, it was the I. So I'm going to scoot that back, click get hold of the I, send that across to the T. Okay, I'm going to just go up a little bit and then I'm going to scooch the O back across. Just trying to make sure if I zoom in here by clicking on the zoom button and just going in to look at what we're doing. What I'm doing is trying to look that the letters are all just ever slightly overlapping. You can see that one's not overlapping the um, A. So what I'm going to do, instead of moving them all individually, I'm just going to select those and move those across to the A so that it is selected. So all I did to do that was just to drag an arrow, a little box, to all the letters that I wanted to be selected have the blue line around them then you can manipulate those now where was it over here I think now looking at that they all appear to be um, joined apart from the C and I'm going to keep the C separate because I feel it will look nicer if it's on on sort of on its own as part of the word that way and give it a more more impact than just having it attached to the O and I'm quite happy to stick one letter down as long as everything else is welded. The next thing to do, if I go to view and show map properties, oops, I haven't got anything selected, that doesn't help. And then I've just dragged an imaginary box around everything so everything is selected and I'm going to choose a fill colour of red. Now, I'm just going to close that down so it's out of the way. And you can see that... All of these where you'd have holes with the exception of the O's because they've got a little gap there anyway have got this filled in 
Now, if I leave that like that and I go to, now I'll just show you, weld, edit and weld, what happens when it tries to do it, just bear with, thinking about it, thank you. And what you can see, it welds them fine, but you lose the definition of the holes in the letters, even in the C here. So you can see that we need to do something prior to doing that weld process. So I'm going to click undo, so that I'll undo the last step. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the letters and go to edit, process overlap, and you can do divide, and that will remove it. Do the same with each of the letters, divide, each of the letters, divide. You can use the function edit, process overlap, lap, and divide that way, but that you'd have to remove then and delete. So it's quicker to do the edit, process overlap, and it's not divide, it's subtract. Sorry, I do apologise for that. So even though that was very small, if, if we zoom in there now, we can see that it's going to just be a cut line that's giving you some definition for that. Now, I've just got the S to do as far as I can see. So I'm just going to do the S, edit, and just do subtract. And that takes it away without you having to drag it off and then delete it separately. Now, so I'm going to keep my C separately. Look what happens when I weld this time. So I'm going to edit and weld. Now that should weld all of my letters together with the exception of the C. And if we zoom in, it looks like it's done that. Okay, so that's our congratulations welded together. I could perhaps maybe have moved the T up a little bit closer to the U. If you if you feel that that's necessary, you can always undo your last step, which was weld, move the T a little bit that way. And then if you think, all right, okay, so I need to move the rest, highlight them all, and then using your arrow keys, just move that one a bit that way. And then you can select them again and click edit and process overlap weld. Okay. So it is going to take a few seconds for it to do that. It's thinking about it. And now we've got a weld, welded word. Okay, so I'm going to take the zoom off a little bit so you can see what we're doing next. So next what I want to do is select the whole word because I want to make a matting layer for behind. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to click on Edit, Group. So that that, even though the C is not welded to the rest of the word, it's actually grouped as one. And then I'm going to go on edit. And then this little bullseye icon, which is the offset, looks like a H. I'm going to click on create an offset. And I want it to be outward because I want it to be bigger than the actual word that we've created. It wants to be a mat. And there's two ways that we can create this. We can do it. Just the outer edge, so we'll show what that looks like first of all. Leave the rest as is, saying OK. And it's processing. And we can see now it's actually brought in a matting layer for the word, but it's kept the C separate because the C was separate to start with. So now I need to select those two and weld those together okay so i'm welding it together and then i've got a matting layer for my congratulations now the other thing you can do is do edit process overlap make it the desired offset i want it outward but this time i'm going to unselect or deselect the create an offset line around the outer edge and that should give us the definition in the holes of the letters too. Saying OK and we'll see what happens. Now what you can see is now this offset has actually produced 
one minus the huddles, well almost. So I'm going to just undo that for starters and I'm going to select that one and that and move it down. Okay, and then I'm going to do edit and subtract. Oh, not quite that one that I wanted. Uh, what we're trying to do is get that definition with, of those holes back. So removing that, we might have to do this with the edit um, divide. Okay, so now we can go along our word and remove, oops, can do it that way. Move it out the way first of all and then delete all these little bits of debris by drawing boxes around them and deleting at will. Okay. So then, I can make my word a different colour, so we can see it. And that's a bit very bright, but hopefully it'll give you enough contrast to see it under the screen. And I'm going to send this top layer to the front, so we can get the matting layer lined up again. So I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to send that to the back. Why is it not letting me do that? Okay. So what I could do is just do it by eye because for some reason it, sometimes it can be a bit glitchy can the Canva software and you have to work around. So I've got that together now. I'm going to go edit and weld. Okay. Okay. So we've got a bit of an overlap there. So we'll try again. Edit, weld. Oh dear. Okay, so it overlaps slightly with other ones. So we should be. Okay, so I've just moved that so it wasn't quite overlapping as much. And remember, because that C cut separately, you still have place that on separately and it'll be fit fine. So now I'm going to bring that to the front and then move the congratulations over the top and we can see now we've got that matting layer with the definition definition in place. So again that's what it looks like when you've not got the holes in the letters and that's what it looks like when you've kept the definition, the holes in the matting layer. Okay, so then if you want a matting layer for your matting layer, it's quite a simple step to go edit, create offset. Again, outward, we'll do it a little bit bigger so we can see it. On the outside only, say OK. That'll give us another layer and we could change that to a different colour. So we'll make this, um, I don't um that colour so then that can go on top of that now we just close that down so that then would go on top of that this would go on top of this and these would go on top of that one send it to the back and oh, moving them separately so move that one on and then that one on and then you can have a double matted layer and you can do that as much as you um, find is appropriate for your product. Now I know the colours aren't particularly great on the screen and I've just chosen them for illustration purposes only. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, if you've liked the video, please like, share and subscribe. On my blog over at the link below in the description, I will be leaving a free downloadable file of the congratulations that we've just made. So if you're interested, click on the link for my blog, head over there and download the file. If you're interested in the blog where I'll be posting free files, etc., then follow the blog and that will also keep you alerted if I'm doing other YouTube videos or if you want to be alerted by YouTube, make sure you click the bell icon and it will let you know when um, I've uploaded new videos. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you in the next time. Bye.